Okay, so let's get right to it. This is going to be a quick and brief synopsis and use of the TAR command. TAR stands for Tape Archive. It is used to archive and compress files or directories. And to get started, let's take a look at the help page for the TAR command. At the very top of the help page, it gives us some examples of how we can use the command to create an archive, list the files in an archive, and extract the files from an archive. You can create an archive with the C flag and F flag. Um, as we look, look down here, C is to create a new archive. And F is a little further down. F stands for file archive. Typically, I use, and what we're going to do is use the V flag, which stands for verbose, which verbosely lists the files processed. If you use the V argument with the CF argument. So what we're going to do is cover the tar command. What we have right now, we have a directory here, test one. If you look inside of that directory, you'll see we have a bunch of text files in here, a bunch of files in here. So we are going to play around and use the tar command to archive and, and also archive and compress this directory and also to extract. So to create a tar ball, to create a tar ball, the command will be tar flag C stands for create F stands for file archive. And you can use just those two flags, but I use the V argument also to show what was processed while archiving the directory. In this case, it's going to be just test one directory. So if you want to list what was in an archive, you would use the TVF argument. And if you want to extract an archive, you will use the X. You can also use the V argument, XVF argument. So let's get to it. So we have our test directory here and to, to archive, that directory. Um, let's go over the syntax. So the syntax starts out with the command, any arguments if necessary. And in this case, we necessary for arguments, create or mostly list file archive. We have to name the archive or we have to give the archive a name. So we're going to name it test one dot T A R the dot tar extension is important. And we are going to list source to be archive. In this case, it's just a test one directory. You hit enter the V for mostly list what was archived. So these are all the files inside of, inside of that directory. And if we do another long listing, we will see the original archive is here. Correction, the original directory is here and the archive directory is here. So if you pay attention to these numbers here, this is not the size of the directory, but it shows that there's data in there. And this is showing that there's data also in the archive, but it's larger than the original directory. So archiving alone does not necessarily compress or reduce the size of a directory. So now that we have our directory and our archive, if we want to also archive and zip this directory, the command will be tar. The arguments is going to be Create verbosely list. Z stands for gzip file archive. The name we have to give the archive a name that we're going to that we're going to zip. So dot tar is necessary. Dot gz is also necessary. And then the source that we are going to archive. Do another listing. Now we have a tape archive of this directory. And we now have a compressed or zipped tape archive of this directory. And if you pay attention to the numbers that represents size of the data, the archive correction, the zipped archive is obviously smaller than the other two. So to extract an archive, we would use other flags. So let's clear the screen. So to an extract and archive, which means put the files back to its original form, we will use the X argument with the command. As we see here, we have an archive here. So 
Oh, one quick note. Since the original directory is still here, if we extract the archive, we won't see anything different. So what we're going to do is we are going to move or copy these two tarballs to another directory. So we're going to move. Let's move. Let's move the tarball to the user's home directory. Let's also move the compressed tarball also to use this home directory. Take a look. The only thing here is the original directory. And we are going to now change directories to the user's home directory. If you look in here, we are going to have the original correction. We are going to have tape archive of that directory. We are going to have the compressed version tape archive of that directory. So to extract these two tarballs are different. It, there are different flags used to extract the compressed tarball versus extracting just a tarball. So let's start with extracting just a tarball. So to extract a tarball, the command will, the syntax will be the command. The flags we're going to use is X to extract, V to verbosely list, and F to file archive. And we just, the name that we're going to extract, which is tarball right here. Hit enter. We get the list. And if we take a look at the user's home directory, the original directory is now here. And still, the archive is here. And if we take a look inside the, the directory, we will see uh, that the files that was originally archived are still here. So notice that we are inside the user's home directory where we have the original directory that we did not bring here, that we did not move here the first time. And we also have the original tarball and the compressed tarball. So to uncompress, correction, to extract a compressed tarball, there will be an additional flag added to the command. So let's remove the directory so that when we extract this compressed tarball, we will see the results here in the same location. So the directory is gone. Let's clear the screen. Now we are going to extract the compressed tarball. So the syntax will be the command. Flags are going to be X for extract, V for both listing, Z for compressed or gzip. And in this case, since we're extracting, it's going to be ungzip and file archive. And the name of the directory that we want to extract is the test.tar.gz. You have a listing of what was extracted. If we look in the user's home directory, there it is. Original directory that was created in our temp directory. So just to recap, to create a directory, we have to type the command, the flags, create robosi list, file archive. You don't need the V, but I personally use it. We have to give the we have to give the tape archive a name. So in this case, we chose to keep the same name. We just added a dot tar extension and the source the directory or files to be to be archived and to create a compressed archive. We read a command create robosi list zipped file archive. The name that we're going to give the compressed archive. We have to add a GZ extension at the end. And the source. And the source in this case was the directory test one. That is how you would create an archive, and that's how you would create a compressed archive. And to extract either one of those two archives, we will use the same command tar. We will use the X argument the V argument, the file argument, and this is to extract a tarball, the name of the tarball. This is the command that we use to just extract it. Since we are here and it's already here, I'm not going to run it again, but we can extract it here. If we wanted to extract it somewhere else, let's find another directory. So inside the opt 
directory. We just have one directory. So if we want to un extract a tarball here, since we are here and the tarball is located something else, some somewhere else, tar xvf home and the permissions denied. Okay, so now that we have a directory that we can go to, I might have to change some permissions around, but we have inside the root file system we have the media directory so we're going to go into the media directory inside the media directory we have a directory called practice so and is empty here so since we are here let's use the absolute path to go and unarchive or to extract the tarball here and what we're going to do is the tar command Extract verbose the file archive it is located in the user's home directory and it's called test1.tar. And if you look in here, it extracted the directory here. So let's remove this directory for another test. Go to user's home directory. Inside here, we have the archive. So let's from where we're standing, where the tarball exists, we're going to extract it somewhere else. So the command is going to be tar, the extract argument verbose list, file archive, the name of the tarball, and where we are going to put it. Okay, so we got an error to extract so we got an error while attempting to extract the archive someplace else why did we get that error we got the error because we are missing a flag so let's take a look at the help page to figure out what flag we are missing capital C change to directory so let's clear the screen from where we're standing and the archive is listed here we're going to extract it verbose and it's going to be tar we're going to extract a verbosely list this file archive called test.tar since it isn't in the present working directory and from here we add the capital C flag and give the location of where we want the extraction to occur and if we take a look into that directory we are going to see the directory here so this is how you would extract a tarball into another location the capital C flag comes after the tape archive but before the absolute path and finally to extract the compressed file it's going to be tar it's going to be extract verbose z for gzip we use the same flag to compress and uncompress file archive s one dot tar dot gz since the directory is already here well let's do this let's remove the directory from here and also let's remove the directory from the other location. But now the directory isn't here, nor is it in the other location. Oops. Yeah, there's nothing in the other location. So we are going to uncom uh, uncompress and extract the archive here and in the other location. So to uncompress it, and extract it where we are standing the command the arguments extract or both the list the file archive oh correction the, co the compress file archive and if you do that here we'll see the directory came back in our present working directory 
And to do it in the other location, tar, extract, Roboshi's list, un uncompress the file archive. We're going to use the capital C flag after the, comp the name of the compressed file. And we will use the absolute path, which was media, practice, and get the list here. So let's clear the screen. And if we look into the other directory, the directory is there. And it is also here. So the original directory is created under the temp directory. You can access it there and play around with it. The media directory, you will have access inside the media directory only to the practice directory. So when you're going to practice with the tarball command, you have these directories to use. You can use your home directory. You can use the temp directory where the actual test one directory resides. And you have access to the practice directory under the media directory under the root file system. Hope this helps with the tar command. And if you like this method of notes throughout the week, let me know and I will keep trying to do many of these videos. Thank you for watching.